Praise the Lord, for truly the Lord is good and His mercy endures forever. There is a united message in the, the readings today that I can, I can see. And it's good even for us believers to always constantly uh, look into the call for conversion. Even though we are already baptized, confirmed, you know, uh, we have made Jesus personal Lord and Savior, we uh, speak in our heavenly language. But more than that is that we truly understand the, the, the way of conversion. And the, the scriptures today, how Jesus makes that declaration of what it is to be in the realm of the blessed, as opposed to the realm of the woeful, those who are uh, in darkness. How Christ is offering the blessed life, the kingdom life. The life that uh, he, as he spoke to the multitudes, showed the true way, the better way, the best way. And that is to walk in the light. In the, in the, in the Old Testament, for the people have seen a great light. For Jesus is now shining that light to the people. Prior to that, he made the choice of 12 apostles whom he will be working with to truly proclaim that light and show the blessedness of walking in the light. I love the Old Testament reading today in Hosea. Actually, the other day when it was read in, in chapter 6, how God is calling uh, Israel to repentance. God is calling Israel to conversion. Uh, if, just as a backstory, this is a time when uh, uh, Israel fell into a lot of abominations and an intense sin and rebellion against God. And the warnings of the prophets have been, always been there to show that this is going to destroy you. And, and that this is the way of life. And it's always a call to conversion. In, in chapter 6 of Hosea, uh, I always call to mind this because even as Christians, sometimes we wander, sometimes we fall, and we forget. That's why we have to keep ourselves abreast with the Word of God, with the sacraments, with the, the things in the church so that we would always stay in line. In chapter 6, it says, Come, let us return to the Lord, for He will tore us, but He will heal us. He has stricken us, and He will bind us up. After two days, He will revive us, and on the third day, He will raise us up, that we may live uh, in His sight. Verse 3, let us know, let us pursue the knowledge of the Lord, for His going forth is established as the morning, and He will come to us like rain, like the latter and the former rain. It says here that, you know, we are like the dew of the morning that just uh, withers away because of, of our sin, of our rebellion. How now God is calling us to conversion. And He was calling Israel because Israel has turned away from God. And today's reading is another uh, uh, call for uh, to re uh, repentance of Israel. I'd like to zero in in, in a verse that really jumped from the pages of my Bible. And I'd like to share it with you. And I, I believe this is a nugget of gold that we as Christians can take as we begin to walk with, with Christ. In chapter 10, verse 12, Hosea chapter 10, verse 12, it will, be appear, it will appear to your screen. So with a view of righteousness, Reap in accordance with kindness. Break up the fallow ground, for it is time to seek the Lord until He comes to rain righteousness on you. I repeat, sow with a view of righteousness. Reap in accordance with kindness. Break up your fallow ground, for it is time to seek the Lord until He comes to rain righteousness on you. Rain righteousness. We, we have had a lot of rain lately. 
<laughs> and you talk about rain righteousness, how opposed to what Israel was living in intense abomination and sin, God is now telling, if you would come to sow in view of righteousness, and you will reap according to kindness. Kindness. Yun ang kulang ngayon sa mundo, kindness. Walang kindness sa mundo ngayon, eh, di ba? I mean, pumunta ka lang sa supermarket and daming uh, uh, unkind. But it is, uh, you, you, reap, you, you reap in accordance to righteousness. For it is time to seek the Lord. A time of conversion. A time of conversion. I'd like you to turn also to the psalm reading today. The, the psalm reading is just full. And in Psalm 102, Okay, verse 12. But you, O Lord, abide forever, and your name in all generations. You will rise and have compassion on Zion, for it is time to be gracious to her, for the appointed time has come. Surely your servants find pleasure in your stones and feel pity for her dust. And the nations will fear the name of the Lord, and all the kings of the earth with your glory. For the Lord has built up Zion, and His has appeared in His glory. This wonderful promise. You know, hindi pa tayo na sa Advent, pero this is already a call for the promise of God to His people, to His church. And he, He's speaking to, he, he will abide forever. So, brothers and sisters, the call of conversion is upon us. Even though we are already Christians, even though we have already received the sacraments, even though we are baptized, confirmed, uh, went to the altar call, even though we are uh, filled with the gifts of the Spirit, we, it is good to understand conversion and to walk a converted life every day to the likeness of Christ. Again, I, vo I speak the voice of Hosea to all of us. So with a view of righteousness, conversion, reap in accordance to kindness. Break your fallow ground. Diba, paglalo na when it is, when it is, ano, uh, it is, uh, there's drought, uh, you know. And for it is time to seek the Lord until He comes to rain righteousness on you. Rain righteousness on you. So God is calling us to truly live that converted life every day. And in, in this ordinary time, as I have always uh, shared in my heart, that I, I truly the emergence of the, the church would be seen and people will see the glory of God through our lives so that they, we can be a blessing to others. We can truly be a light to others. We can be the love of God to man. That we can extend. We are called to be blessed because we are to be a blessing to others. To share the light where there is darkness. For that, the Lord abides in us. Again, I read in, in, in Hosea, so with the view of righteousness. Lahat ng planting natin is always in the view of His righteousness. And we will reap in accordance to kindness we will see that God's loving kindness endures forever. For it is time to seek the Lord until He reigns righteousness on us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.